Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Croxton and I will be your guide through cho choosing an elective science course here at Bismarck High School. So you first might be thinking, how do I go about choosing an elective course to take? Well, there's a few things you can consider. What interests you? What are your future goals? What courses are going to help you prepare best for the college experience? And which courses will provide you with opportunities as far as careers and professions in the future? And if you're ever in doubt, feel free to ask your current science teacher or the science teacher that'll be teaching a class that you're interested in. We're always happy to help and answer questions that you might have. This chart here is in your registration guide. So I'm not going to go through everything in detail, but you can kind of see the general layout <clears throat> on what courses you might want to take depending on your future goals. Uh, some of these courses are a little more rigorous than others, so that might be something you want to consider as well. All right, as far as elective courses, we have uh, life science courses and physical science courses. The life science courses, we have our ecology, anatomy and physiology, AP environmental science, and AP biology. That little asterisk there indicates that the class is available as dual credit through a regional university. So that's apart from the AP exam, you can gain college credit. For the physical sciences, we have conceptual physics, geoscience, chemistry, AP chemistry, and AP physics one and two, which are also available as dual credit. Now, if you want to become a biologist, then obviously you're gonna be taking biology. If you want to be a physicist, you take physics, but there are some careers out there that are very useful as far as having a science background. So I'm gonna kind of run through a few of those that you might be considering. So for AP Bio or Anatomy Physiology, <clears throat> fields like forensics, environmental or conservation professions, botany and florists, those all use biology principles and a biology class would be useful for that. Uh, business, economics, government policy, with careers in ecology and AP environmental science, it could include agriculture, which is really important for North Dakota, conservation and restoration biology, environmental consulting, natural resource management, and so on. For chemistry and AP chemistry careers, that could include biotechnology, pharmacy, the oil and coal industries. Chemistry is a very valuable skill for those. In the geoscience careers, that also includes oil and the energy industry, mining and excavation, as well as meteorology. For the conceptual and AP physics careers, that could include construction and mechanical careers, welding and electrical work, engineering and biotechnology. So in summary, science courses offer you valuable skills for a wide range of professions. And if you're ever curious or you have any questions, just ask your teacher. They're more than happy to help you. Good luck choosing your next science class.